a high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. Welcome, folks, to another episode of the Raven's Den Show. I did a little bit of research today, and I found out a few things. Uh, firstly, the Schumann Resonance, the global resonance in California, uh, is buzzing at a 124.5 hertz. Crazy. Really, really high. I can feel it. I'm getting chills. I'm noticing goosebumps and just a lot of these types of things. Uh, the other thing was about yesterday, about Friday the 13th. It was a very, very powerful day. And to be honest, a lot of the time, we don't necessarily pay attention to a lot about what's going on. So Friday the 13th is actually considered a sacred day. A sacred day, but it's for many. The one, you know, one plus three is four. Four is the ascended master's number. It also mean all four corners of a square or, or, or all four elements collectively connecting. What I will tell you is this, through my brief hiatus, I learned that doing things for yourself all the time is not necessarily always the right way to go. Let me explain. The self-love, the self-gratitude and appreciation is fantastic, but what matters most, or should matter most, is the giving to other people. Uh, the feeling of contribution, uh, the feeling of togetherness and uh, unity. As the shirt says here, you, I know it's in reverse because uh, it's mirrored. But it's supposed to say it says it says Ubuntu. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it over. There we go. So you guys can see it. All right. Now as we continue to move into different energies and shift into our native consciousness. I've noticed a few things. I noticed that there are a lot more individuals that are selfish, um, a lot more individuals that have a lack of compassion and a lack of um, emotional fluidity. A lot of individuals are holding themselves back because they think that they're they think that something else is going on around them, within them. I can say that there has been a lot of uh, influences, largely influences is in the sense of negativity, pessimism, and lower vibrational living. My suggestion, my suggestion would be to become 
what it is that you want to see in this world, no matter what that means. I remember speaking to my mother about this, this oneness, this unity and uh, creative energies. They're everywhere. They're actually in, inside everyone and everything. I don't know if you can agree with this, but I feel like even though the Schumann resonance, I mean, it's high. I mean, it's probably one of the highest I've seen yet. Even though it's buzzing the way that it is, those around must understand that it can have good and negative effects on individuals. You know, it can, it can amplify, intensify, um, but I see the total opposite happening in this world, or at least from what I'm viewing, observing, and listening to. I'm always part of the higher vibe, at least I try to be. I attempt to become or emulate again, what it is that I want to see in the world. The question is, are you doing it? And the question also is, if you too are experiencing seeing all this, a lower vibrational living, do you feel like you have what it takes? Or do you feel that you have the resources to make a stand or make change? Some people will say yes, some people say no, some people will say I don't know. But that's your choice. Free will. Right? Free will is something that is necessary for us to live on. Choice is not inevitable. Choice is something that we as hum human beings have control over to a certain extent. I mean, you should, and if you don't, then I would begin to question my own reality. Now, at times, during this high vibe, this high vibe, low reaction sort of uh, scenario and situation, what do we do? Well, we can allow it to keep, we can allow it to keep going. My apologies. Or, we could do something to change it, to raise that vibration, to bring in another another direction. I mean, we could be ventilators all day, but the fact is, is that if we don't proactively choose to act and react in a proper way, 
the outcomes could be disastrous. I mean, think about this. You're going down the street in your car. Somebody cuts you off. You have like one of three choices. One is to do nothing. Two is to assume that their situation is this or that. So that they're just trying to be, a, you know, you know what? And um, you curse, you yell, you flip the bird. I don't think that's really going to do any good for anybody, especially if that person is unstable or you could not assume anything wish them well hope that whatever's going on in their lives is going to be okay and bless them choice <laughs> the final frontier no I'm, I'm totally kidding no that's more that's copyrighted but um well not that in a flight of mine guys hey you know i go i go wherever that i go wherever the pull takes me the other thing today that I'd like to talk about is the lack of connection. I mean, has our lives gotten so busy to where we don't talk to each other anymore? Did our families get so busy and even though we're still going through this COVID situation, the kids are in school. Seems that people are working more or less, depending on the occupation. I noticed that a lot of lower wage jobs. For some reason, a lot of people aren't showing up. Maybe they're afraid. Maybe they think that you know whatever they're getting, whatever they're getting paid, is 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 not enough to risk their lives. You know, going to work every day, maybe. But what happens when you can't pay bills? What happens when you can't pay rent? Because you're not going to work. cause and effect. Seven hermetic laws. Life goes by the seven hermetic laws a lot of the time. But what I've noticed most is that more and more of that selfish mentality is coming to the surface. And I have absolutely no idea why. I feel sometimes, and I'll admit it, sometimes I feel afraid that our world is never going to go back to what it used to be greed and, and algorithmic clutter has made 
us a lot of humanity go into survival mode. Do what you can while you can. Hopefully you make it out at the end. It's sad, really. I actually am experiencing people having no compassion, no consideration for anyone else besides themselves. When did this become a norm? When did you, you know, when did humanity not thinking about other people became a norm? Now, maybe that's just my environment. But I literally see people coming and going doing whatever they want, paying ever, no mind to how that may affect other people. I'm talking about people's opinions. I'm just talking about paying attention to, like, as an example, something as simple as, you know, being a little bit more quiet when other people are probably sleeping. Like everybody's in this survival mode of, I got to do what I got to do, you know, while I still got time. It's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie about it. It's kind of sad. And we got to keep ourselves mindful. But whatever we think, whatever we speak, and whatever we choose has a direct impact on another, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. Even I slip often about that, and I'm not going to lie about it. Absolutely. Sometimes I feel like people care, and then sometimes I feel like people don't care. So why don't they care? I have no idea. No clue. None. But I wish that that changed. I wish for that to change. I wish for massive changes positively. And I hope that I am going to be part, and you are going to be part of that positive change. We got a man-made virus. It's out of control, apparently. Some say that, that COVID's the flu. They just changed the name. Saying that this thing was made in a lab by a couple of people that are high up, higher up, higher up there in ranking. Won't say names. Won't go full disclosure. Look, would like to keep my show. Fear. <laughs> but the truth is, honestly, I, I really am beginning to believe in this whole high vibe, you know, this pH balance sort of uh, living and life cycle. You know, that disease and illness cannot live in an alkaline state. So, if you keep your, your, your body, your internal organs and everything else alkaline, you end up being more resistant. And science has proven that. You know, health, health fanatics or, you know, nutritionists or even dietitians will, may tell you the same thing. I was going to say will tell you, but I'm not here to speak for them. What I am here for is to tell you that if your life is feeling undesirable, then don't you think it's time for a change? 
you know, if you're in a toxic relationship or, you know, you're, you're still hanging around toxic friends or family, or you, you still got those, you know, those coworkers that are, you know, coming into work, complaining about life and, you know, they, they should be, they should literally be grateful to be six feet above, you know, above ground and be, still be able to breathe, have all four of their limbs and still be able to provide for themselves and those they care about. Living in 5D is what that is. It's funny, a lot of things that I've done, chose to do, chose to get, chose to receive, chose to you know, act upon, a lot of these things, they, they sort of like make me who I am. I mean, I notice synchronicities everywhere. I'm hoping that a lot of individuals are also seeing these signs, seeing them in dreams and seeing them in, in visions. Sometimes, I, I mean, a lot of time, I'm, it feels like I'm daydreaming. But yet when I come out of it, it's like, whoa, you know, just crazy stuff. And the time has come, you know. Time has come for us to, to make the necessary changes in our lives and help other people to do the same thing in theirs. I don't really see an issue in that, you know. I mean, what, what part of this world do you want to be a part of? Do you want to be part of the problem? Do you want to be a part of the solution? Pretty simple, really, I think. Don't you? I think it's great that there's some, should be more, are doing just that. Helping other people. Even the ones that think that they're helpless, there's still an attempt. Don't feel like humanity is like it's time to give up on us because it's not true it's not i want you to know that the reason why i do what i do is because i care because i can because i feel like i must If you're living life like that, then good for you. I'm happy for you. But if you're running on autopilot, it's time to shut off that autopilot and start taking control of what your life actually is. I actually got a shirt I'm going to print out. It says, stop complaining and start living. My clothing line is TEA Apparel. Yes, it's like drinking tea, but it's T.E.A. apparel. I love it. The TEA stands for the Evolutionary Alchemist. The Alchemist is a person that takes elemental substances and turns it into gold. That's what I am attempting to do. You want me to pray for you i can do that if you want me to send healing to you i can do that and if you wish to show your support and gratitude monetarily or even a thank you it's greatly appreciated and i hold gratitude for you by doing so we need more of that we need more of the expression and the sharing of of caring courtesy compassion empathy and love Instead of all this fear-based tactics, actions and chosen reactions that are just not working for us as a race, as a human race. 
It's time for us to shift. Stop being afraid to express yourself and to be you. So until next time, folks, this is Reverend Raven Nightclaw HP, a.k.a. The Evolutionary Alchemist. Remember, once again, you can find oh, my merch, the clothing line, TEA Apparel, at Spreadshirt.com. It may also be on a couple of other platforms momentarily or within the next few weeks, like Etsy, maybe Shopify. We'll see. I'm not too sure yet. I want to tell you guys that if you need somebody, I'm there for you. It's my purpose. It's my mission. So be humble, be blessed, live in the vibration of love, and take care of each other. Please, I abhor you. Heed my words. And help all of us live in a better world. A high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak.